Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming, my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos. Today's video, we're going to try out another Costco food item. It's the Costco Cafe de Chine Beef and Broccoli Skillet Stir Fry. It says it's gluten free, and I recently picked this up from the Costco Frozen Food aisle. So, in today's video, we're going to cook and try this out. Let's get into today's taste test. Keep it for frozen until ready to cook. So, basically, you can either pan fry it and you can also air fry it. Which I think is pretty interesting. I may try the air frying method today. So it says empty the package of broccoli evenly into the air fry basket and place the sliced beef over the top of broccoli in a single layer. So we're gonna try the air fry method instead of the pan fry because I've never air fried beef and broccoli before. It comes with two beef packs and two broccoli packs. Okay, so the broccoli is it cooked or raw? Interesting. 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 This is my air fryer and let's open this. I know it looks like a toaster oven, but I swear it's an air fryer. Beef on top. Okay, that's good enough. 375. Let's go. I can only do a 375 intervals. 10 minutes. Maybe we should do nine, but it's okay. 10 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Beef and broccoli. All right, time is up. All right, time is up. Let's stop this. This is my ice maker. It's making noises. Ta-da! Look at this beef. Wow. This beef is looking juicy, man. And it looks like this beef is pre-seasoned. And here is the broccoli. If you want this texture with a little bit of burn on the edges, definitely you gotta use the air fryer method. So it's not super soft. Like this is the type of texture my husband likes. I bet I can just make this for my husband and say that I cooked it and he'll be like, oh, you're genius. You know how I like it. <laughs> but anyways, so this is what a beef looks like. There are some large pieces and smaller pieces. Let's take it out and mix it with the sauce and give you guys a review. So here is the beef and broccoli. They give you quite a bit of broccoli. Um, not too much of a beef, but it doesn't bother me. I would say this one bag is probably one serving if you don't eat a lot of side dish rice. But again, it's just depending on you. We're gonna heat up the sauce in warm water and see you in 30 seconds. Also, here is the sauce. As you can see, just like how the package looks like, there are some chili peppers in the sauce. So I believe this could be like mildly spicy at least because there is some pepper in the sauce. But let's try this. So here is how you heat up the sauce. There is a cup of warm water. And put this sauce in there. Give it about one minute. Sometimes it takes longer depending on how hot your water is. I also don't want the hot water to be too hot because this is a plastic bag. I definitely don't want to melt the plastic inside of the food. But yeah, I microwave the cup with the water for one minute and it's pretty warm. It's not really boiling hot. And the sauce will be warm in about one minute. I think the sauce is pretty warmed up now. Let's go for it. It's too big of a sauce for the amount of food. Look, this is the sauce literally just covers the food. Um, I don't want it to be too salty. So we're just going to put two thirds. We're just going to put one third to half for now. If it's not salty enough, I'll put it in later. I actually just put half right away. Okay, so let's stir it up a little. Oh, I can definitely smell the spiciness from the sauce. It's actually spicy but it smells really good honestly it kind of smells like the orange chicken sauce from Panda Express but let's make sure it's all blended well make sure the broccoli and beef are covered in sauce I put half of a bag of the sauce I think it's enough okay guys it's good. Let's try this. God, this is what it looks like. I know the bowl is known as aesthetically pleasing because of the sauce on the bowl. But let's try this. Okay, I want to take a huge bite of the beef. This is what it looks like. You can see the pepper on the sauce, on the beef, right? Super meaty beef. Um, feels like tender. Let's try it. Mmm. The beef actually tastes like the beef from Panda Express. Beef tastes good. Let's try the broccoli. Okay, the broccoli is not too crunchy because it's pre-cooked. They cooked the broccoli already. 
So it's still pretty soft, but it's a little crunchy on the edges because of the air fry. The sauce is sweet and savory. Kind of tastes like Panda Express General Sauce Chicken or Orange Sauce. Broccoli has a little bit chewy texture. I think the texture comes from the pre-made broccoli because it's pre-made and frozen. That's why the texture. Hmm. The sauce is good. Very sweet sauce though. The sauce definitely tastes different from the beef from broccoli from Panda Express. Tastes like orange chicken or generous house chicken. It is spicy in terms of the sauce. I think it's mild spicy, but you can definitely taste the spice. The sauce is a little bit too sweet for me, to be honest. Alrighty, I think I'm ready to give you guys my honest review of this item. I think the texture of the beef and broccoli kind of tastes like Panda Express. The beef is actually pretty tender. It does have a little bit of tiny chewy texture, but it's not too dry at all. As a frozen food item, it's better than I expected. The broccoli, I was thinking that it may get a little bit crunchy on the edges because we used the air fry method, but it wasn't because it's a pre-cooked broccoli. Even though we were air frying it just now, it still has a little bit of chewy texture towards the end. It's kind of soft. So I would say it's not as you expected like air fried broccoli from starch, from starch, from start. The sauce is sweet and spicy. I love the spice in this and I love anything spicy, you know, but it is a bit too sweet for me as a beef broccoli item. I don't think it has to be this sweet. The Panda Express beef broccoli is not as sweet as this. This sauce kind of tastes like the Panda Express General Sauce chicken or orange chicken. It has like different little citrusy orange flavor from this. It's a quite sweet. It's too sweet for my taste. So overall, I would give this item 7 out of 10. It's edible. I like it. I'll finish the whole box, but am I going to feel like, oh gosh, it's so good. Go to Cosmo, buy it right now. I suck it up. No. I feel like the Panda Express beef and broccoli sauce tastes better than this because I feel like it's supposed to be a little bit sweet, but not that sweet. This is like an orange sauce, street orange sauce. Orange sauce. The spicy level is mildly spicy. You can taste it. You can taste the spice, but it's not like ha 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 spicy spicy. It's more like on the level on the scale one to ten, this is the spicy level like three. So it's like towards the lower end of spicy level. Overall, I do enjoy this item. I ran out of food today, and this is a great convenient food that I just put in the air fryer, mix it with the sauce, hit it from frozen. It's super convenient. If you find it in your Costco, just comment down below if you have tried this out. Before you go like and subscribe and check out my other Costco food reviews and shop with me on haul videos and taste tests and other lifestyle videos in this channel. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!